Here she comes. I hope there's something worth grabbing this time. Strong box. Ain't carrying one this time. Take a look. That's right. You look like a prosperous gent. Got a nice fat roll on you. Wow, this one's really loaded. <laughs> it's about time we made a decent haul. Don't try any tricks. Cut one of your horses loose. I'm going after them. Are you going after those two alone? Man, you're crazy. I'm not crazy enough to let over $2,000 get away from me that easily. Hurry up. What you're doing, mister. I do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like we're being chased. Oh, well, you know the dude's taking after us. Let's have some fun with him. Don't shoot, mister. We'll give you your money back. Yeah, we didn't mean nothing. I didn't come after the money. You can keep it. That is, if you want to earn it. A great deal more. Oh, no funny business now. My business is entirely serious. If you want more assurance, here's a $500 bill you overlooked. You boys can't get rich on small-time hold-ups like this. But if you want to come in with me, you'll be living like king. Keep talking. We're listening. Hi, Ward. Hello, Rusty. There's a fellow in the bar wants to talk to you. Yeah? Who is it? His name's Dawson. He's the dude that took after those road agents that stuck up the stage yesterday. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Here's Ward Gordon, Mr. Dawson. Well, I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Gordon. How are you, Mr. Dawson? Fine, thank you. I heard about that stunt of yours yesterday. That uh, was a pretty nervy thing to do. Oh, just foolhardy. Certainly useless. I never did catch up with him but it did relieve my temper. <laughs> Will you join me in a drink? Uh, no, thanks. What about you, Rusty? Yeah, I'll have a drink. <laughs> What'll you have? Lemonade. Lemonade? Yeah. Rusty said you wanted to talk to me. Uh, yes, yes. 
I understand that you're head of this rancher's association that's drilling for oil out in the Broken W Ranch. Hey, Colonel Arnold is president of the association, but he's so badly crippled up, I sort of run things for him. Oh. Well, then, you're the man I want to see. I represent an oil syndicate from the east. We're interested in acquiring leases in this territory here. I thought perhaps that you might be interested in selling some part of your lease. No, I don't think so. We've got a pretty good start, and if we hit, we can uh, take up our option on our whole lease. Well, naturally, if you feel that you can carry the load, there's no point in selling any part of it. But uh, do you know of anybody else that might be interested in leasing their land? Well, I suppose most of the ranchers near us might be interested, but uh, the Broken W is about the only acreage around here that looks like oil land. Well, at, at present, perhaps, but uh, if you prove up on your acreage, my company might be interested in acquiring some of the adjoining property. However, I intend opening an office here and do what business I can. Well, uh, good luck. Oh, thank you, Gordon. Come on, Rusty. How'd you run on to this place? Oh, I happen to know the former tenant. He sold so much fake gold mining stock, he had to use that panel to get out of town in a hurry. <laughs> Sit down, Hacker. You got anything lined up? I think so. I learned enough to know that the only way I can ever hope to get any part of the Broken W lease is to prevent the Ranchers Association from striking oil before their option expires. When's that? June the 15th, they lose their lease if they don't bring their well in by then. Well, I think it's up to you to see that they don't. Got any ideas about where to start? Yes. Their head driller, Brian, spends most of his spare time in the saloon. Now, it shouldn't be too difficult to have him accidentally killed in a drunken brawl. I think it can be arranged. No loop legged cowboy's gonna talk to me like that. Take it easy, Brian. No use somebody getting killed over a liquor argument. Oh, uh, leave me alone. I can take care of my own business. Hold him, Rusty. Come here, Bert. Why don't you forget about it? He's just had too much to drink. Well, I have. And I'm not taking orders from you. This is my fight. Partner, I had to stop him. I don't know. I didn't see it. But he had his gun out, all right. How is he? Ward, I reckon we lost our best driller. just been killed in a saloon fight. I was afraid his drinking was going to get him in trouble. I'm not sure it was all his fault, but there wasn't anything we could do about it. Who can we get to replace him? Hmm. Ed Harper in Oro Negro used to work for me there. You remember him, Sally? Mm, only his name. That was so long ago. Well, he's our best chance. You better ride into town and send him a wire. OK, Dad. I'll go change. I'll do what I can to keep the rig going until we can find someone. Yeah, it's up to you, Ward. I'm so useless. We can't afford any more delays. 
The ranchers have invested practically everything they own in that well, and if we fail to prove up on the field in time, it'll bankrupt half the county. Yeah, I know. Hello, Ward. Hello, Dawson. How are the oil well going? Well, just barely until we get a new driller. I understand oh, that... Uh, uh, excuse me. I got an answer from Ed Harper. He'll get to the county seat on tomorrow's train. Do we meet him there? No, he'll rent a rig and drive here himself. Fine, we sure need him. We could meet him at Oak Forks and take him right from there to the rig. Why, yes, there's no use his coming all the way into town. All right, I'll pick you up first thing in the morning at the ranch. Right, I'll be ready. All you have to do is to meet Harper before they do. Substitute one of your own men in his place. I can't find a man that knows anything about drilling. He won't have to if you work it right. When he gets to the ring... You Ed Harper? Yeah. Got anything to prove it? Huh? Why? We're from the Oil Association. We've been having a lot of trouble around the rig. You gotta be careful. Well, got a telegram here that Sally Arnold sent me. Okay. Get him over there. I'm leery of this job, Hacker. I don't know a drill bit from a crown block. Suppose someone asks. I told you what to say. The stuff is all fixed. All you got to do is light the fuse and throw it down the casing. Well, you'll have to stand by close. Don't worry. We'll stand by and take care of you. Ma'am, reckon you're Miss Arnold. Why, yes, I am. I used to know you a long time ago in Oro Nigro, but I wouldn't have recognized you. Well, I've changed some since then. Got your telegram and came right along. And we're grateful to you for coming. This is Ward Gordon. Howdy. Howdy. How's your brother Harry? Why, uh, I don't know. Uh, he hasn't been around town for years. Well, what's the matter, Sally? Why, I don't understand. Harry Harper was a good friend of mine. I got a letter from him just a few months ago, and he said he was still in Oro Nigro. Well, I don't know nothing about that. I met Harper. That telegram proves it. Maybe you'd better step down, and we'll talk this over. Take your gun. Keep an eye on him, Sally, and I'll see what he's got in this wagon. Oh, we can't let him find that dynamite. Come on. You drill oil wells with this stuff? shooting within a half a mile of him. Well, he's playing possum, then. Let's give him a chance to cash in on it. I'm going after him. You wait here. Take it easy. You won't get hurt. Stay here. Yo, help! Help!
Looks like we lost him. Yeah. If Bowers played his cards right, he ought to be near the well by now. Let's get over there and see if he needs any help. Come on. See their game now. I'll pick you up later. Right. Mighty glad to see you, Mr. Harper. We had to shut her down. We wasn't getting anywhere. Well, a heap of no one goes into drilling. Suppose you fellas knock off for lunch. I'll look things over while you eat. All right. Let's eat, men. Explode it. You keep the others busy. 